Hey, welcome to another update of my Red Power 2 series. Red Power Pre-Release 3 is out now and it includes some new features. It's based on a new version of Forge, which includes the OR dictionary. The OR dictionary allows ores like copper and tin from Red Power be used in industrial craft or other mods supporting the OR dictionary. You can use the ores vice versa. Um, both directions work, so you can use industrial craft ores in Red Power and vice versa. Well, um, it also allows, for example, the indigo dye to you work for all blue recipes um, that require lapis for now. Then there are bunch of new cu cutting rep recipes. I'll show you those at the end. And um, well, let's start with a change of a recipe. The filter I showed you last time is usually crafted this way. This won't work anymore. Instead, instead of the redstone, you'll now have to use a red doped wafer. I'll, I'll explain how to make those later. This will now give the filter. So, change of recipe here. All the new recipes are also in the uh, recipe list I created. I'll put a link into the description as usual. Then, let me show you new recipes for new items and blocks. The first one is the item detector. It's used to detect items going through a tube. It's crafted like this and it's called item detector. I'll give you an example in a minute. So next up there is a new furnace, the blue electric furnace. It's crafted like this, blue electric furnace. This one operates on elect uh, blue electricity. You'll have to supply it with power. So, um, to generate power, you have to have some kind of generator. At the moment, there are these solar panels. You craft them from blue dope wa wafers. I'll show you how to make those too. They're similar to the red dope wafers. And put a blue alloy ingot in the middle, and you'll have a sol solar panel. These panels are used to power the furnace and other devices that are yet to come. You can connect those using a blue alloy wire. These wires are crafted similar to the red ones. Uh, you have to insulate them with wool like this. Any color of wool will work, but with any every color will give the same blue alloy wire. So next up we'll have to examine how to make those wafers. To make them, the first step is to create from sand and coal or charcoal, doesn't matter, a new item called a silicon boot. Boot, boot, boot. That's a crystalline structure. You cut it up into wafers. You have to use a diamond handsaw. The other ones will not work. Not even the ruby or sapphire ones. You have to use the diamond handsaw and one bull will give you 16 wafers. These are undoped so now you can put those into the, fur into the alloy furnace and use either for redstone dust, dust, those will give a red doped wafer, or you can use some nicolite. This will give the blue ones. And since I believe I didn't show you how to make the blue ella ingots, I'll just do this now. 
get a silver ingot, put it into the yellow furnace with some nicolide, and you will receive one bar of the new blue alloy ingots. The difference, the general difference between the blue and the red stuff is that the red stuff, the red wires, the red wafers, all this transmits signals. And the blue stuff is to transmit power. So that's the general distinction between the two. Now, I just put the furnace here and it's connected to an array of solar panels on the roof. I'll show you that through this new cable. Um, for comparison, let's put some copper ore in here and some in here. And you'll see this furnace operates a little faster than the regular one. It will not consume any fuel, but as I said, it has to be powered. And currently the only way to power these devices is the solar panel. The solar panel is not a very efficient energy source, but uh, there will be others later on. So um, here you see one of the reasons the, vi the video took a little longer. I built this uh, gas replica from some of the new micro blocks. I built a similar one uh, out of regular wool, but this one is, well, a little smaller. So, um, the next block I didn't show is the item detector. As I said, you put it between tubes and when an item goes through it, it will work as a regular tube. When an item is uh, passed through, it will give a signal, a redstone signal. I connected it to this counter. It's currently at zero. And whenever a pulse signal is delivered to this uh, compact, well, uh, logic machine, whatever, whenever it receives a signal, it will count one up. So let's check it out. Let's, for example, put 59 cobblestone in here, turn on this timer, it will just rapidly give a pulse. So um, the cobblestone is sucked out by the transposer from this chest and put into that chest. And when 59 of it has been transported, the counter shows the correct amount. So if you put, for example, a stack of something like the alloy ingots into the transposer by throwing it in, you see, um, well, it's over already. This goes through as a, as a stack, but um, the detector will emit 10 signals nonetheless. So the counter should be 69 now. And indeed, it worked. So, um, yeah, the last thing I wanted to show you is um, the new cutting recipes. You already know this one you can cut slabs from regular blocks, solid blocks. You can cut the slabs into panels and you can cut the panels into covers and you know how to place them. I already showed you. You'll have a nice preview and can put it on the floor, on the ceiling, pretty much everywhere. Then um, the new stuff is you can also make from a slab 
and a cover a new block called a cover slab this one is a little thicker than the regular slab and well it works pretty much the same as all the other blocks you can only put it on the corner and on the sides so there is a new block that can be cut pretty much from uh, every strip uh, yeah not from those obviously so let's get some, yeah some slab strips those slab strips can be crafted into pillars and these can be put in the middle like this and that's pretty cool so you can actually uh, build some stuff that you couldn't do before for example you can put something like this on top and you'll have some kind of a table you can combine them any way you want so this is the new stuff for this time and I'm very much looking forward to what's coming next Aileram has really well uh, some nice ideas and I'm really looking forward to it. See you next time.